Okay, sup everyone. Welcome in another production video. So I am doing these one hour usually production sessions when I sit and I, I just flip samples, I experiment, I do all sorts of stuff with sounds. I try to come up with some new ideas with new sounds. That's really exciting to me. And I thought you may be interested also in watching the process of making maybe a truck or maybe making some cool sounds. So it's 9 p.m. I feel feel like flipping this thing and kind of pitching this down and maybe turning this into a beat maybe maybe chopping this up i saw a cool reaction under the lo-fi video that i did a couple of months ago i was just producing and people like that so hopefully you'll like this too it's gonna be a little bit longer session not the usual like 10 20 minute video but like maybe an hour uncut version of what i'm doing. I'll be trying to comment on what I do just like I usually do when I'm making a video uh, so you can know what I'm doing exactly. Uh, if you're a beginner I'll try to explain as much as possible. I'll maybe consider streaming. That would be a cool idea too. So let's start with this. So this is a preview. This is one of the preview songs from the latest Voices sample pack that we've made recently. It took us a little bit of work to polish the sounds and to make it sound cool and and we came up with this really emotional track. So I'm gonna play it back and we're gonna flip this. Sit by the fire There is a hidden desire Sit by the fire There is a hidden desire Yeah, so that's it. It's pretty interesting track. So I really want to pitch this down because when you pitch things down, they slow down and the vibe of the song changes, like slows down, like it's more relaxed kind of thing. Sit by the fire There is a hidden desire Sit by the fire Okay, so I want this, um, hmm, what tempo we want this to be, like 145? Maybe, I don't know what this is gonna be, so let's stay in 140 BPM for now. But as you can hear, the song changed the mood and it sounds really cool. <laughs> Sounds even better. I don't know. Like it, the the change in speed and and in in transposition always sounds really amazing. I want to see what this is. Uh, what key is this in? C. G sharp and C sharp. Maybe let's see minus six. Maybe or like let's go for minus nine. Shoot by the fire. Okay, so I really need to see what what key this is in because I hate when the songs are like really high because I can't use bass there like B or A or or even G. So let's see with this tool. Shoot by the fire. Okay, so this is D sharp major. D sharp is fine. I like D sharp. F F. G G. Yeah, so this is G sharp. Okay, let's go. Sit by the fire. 
Okay, so this is G sharp major. We're gonna try and deal with it because it's a little bit too high for me, but let's try and work with it. Maybe, maybe it'll work. Uh, yay. So let's try and maybe chop this. We're gonna do, we'll be using granular synthesis for sure for some pads because it sounds amazing. Sit by the fire. Okay, so I want this part and I'll just try and come up with some rhythm. Okay, so 150, 160. Like 126 oh a cool tip if you click this right click this create clip on on edges it'll automatically clear create create these fades oh that's interesting Yeah, so basically the whole song is being slowed down, but because we are chopping this up, it actually speeds up. Wait, can we? Oh, yes. this song oh yeah okay so this is yeah see this is it'll be a little bit of a problem here mm, because the the chords are changing here maybe we can blend this let's see uh, let's see first of all let's just delete this there is a Maybe we can put this here, Let's see. Desire. This, so that's the rhythm from the first part. Desire. Desire. Okay, that's interesting. So we're gonna blend this because it'll be just hard otherwise. So. I want this vocal here. I could actually put a real vocal, but okay, never mind. Uh, we're gonna use the sample. So I need to uh, have the bass from this. I need bass. Okay, so we need this bass here. Okay, which there is a zero. Do we have some? That's pretty long. Okay, yes. Um, so I'll just go and and do this, and maybe on here. Okay, I'm gonna just do like that, and and here I'm gonna just do the opposite. I'll just go and. Let's see if this works. It repeats here and I don't... Oh, okay, what we can do basically is just duplicate this. Mm -hmm. And kind of use these fades to blend in together and make this a little bit quieter so it actually fades out. Let's see if this works. Yeah, because not only volume is changing, but the tone. Okay, last thing we can do is basically stretch this, but they'll just um, destroy the quality a little bit. Maybe. Not 
not that bad actually. I want to add these. And then repeat this. Wait. Yeah, it does work. Okay. Uh, but it's a little bit off, right? Here? Here and should be here. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then just repeat this. Obviously, this is gonna be some sort of like house beat type of drum loop, but kind of like chill. So when it reaches drop, I would do this epic part. And kind of chop it up. Maybe, maybe do some, some cool rhythm with this. So. Oh. Okay, same rhythm here, like this, something like that. Dun, dun, dun. And then we have, <clears throat> we need to blend again here, some of the endings. Uh, there's gonna be vocal only here. So for this like uh, rising up in volume, sounds really wide um like i basically used granular synthesis and for like some pads here that's cool so uh let's see let's listen what what it sounds like Epic, epic house drop. You know, Jonas Aiden, Aiden, sorry, Jonas Aiden, <laughs> type of beat. But I'm, I'm thinking about. I have these drums that I made one day. Yeah, ex excellent house beat. Uh, I'm gonna just put it here and see if this works. Uh, drums, beats. Yeah, we would need to put a LFO tool on this to make it bounce just like this is wrong shape just like that yeah let's see Really lo-fi, but actually kind of cool drums. Also really heavy. Oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> oh. Uh. 
So we are gonna be using this new sample pack, Voices. Uh, let's look for some ad libs. Yeah, here we have some U. Let's see. Okay, so I want this to. Oh, exactly. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like, what's happening right now? Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. extra side chain here uh cool cool, cool. let's listen there to this yeah so i i pulled out the portal to add these high 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 sparkles i'm gonna even i'll create a chain and quickly assign assign um <clears throat> this thing to macro so i won't need to uh kind of like modulate this every time cool and let's map i mean let's save this yeah and then now i do i need to adjust this cool <laughs> Okay, so I've been I've been talking about granular synthesis. Maybe we'll do something like that. Mm. Let's pull up uh, Quanta. For granular synthesis, I use Quanta most of the time. Uh, I use one's granulator. It was cool, but Quanta has much more functions, and it's basically it gives you more sounds, more ways you can trans from your sound. So I will do something like this. This is a demo version. It allows you to use it for 30 minutes and it's insanely amazing. Basically, I'm going to just track this here. And if I play a C note, um, you can hear the quanta repeating something. Basically what's happening, like it's repeating grains. So there's 10 grains. 
and it's repeating every like every certain amount of time like the more grains you add uh, basically the more like dense the sound will be you can make like cool bases with it <laughs> also you can specify you can adjust the, I'm gonna make it bigger for you you can adjust the length of the grain basically so as you can see if I did uh, if I increase that to maximum it is hitting the piano I like to keep it like if it's too low it's basically just like hitting I like to just increase like grains to some like 20 or something in length so it like like that and it, w w what what you need to do now is to just because this is repeating and it's not a, it's, it doesn't sound like a cool pad if you if you do some randomization like grain randomization that kind of works it gives you some pad but this is like I'll usually keep this in like low randomization volume but I'll usually go to position I mean I'll always go to position and then randomize position so on the top you can see this thing increasing so this is the randomization option and uh, region Okay, so now when I have this set up, uh, I'll create a new audio track and I'll just turn on resampling, uh, also playing the note, so there's no sound. Okay, let's record this. Oops, wait. This is gonna resample the sidechain, right? Okay, we need to turn off the sidechain. First of all, wait, I... I what? There's two side chains? Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. Okay, so now we hit record. And I'm gonna wait like... I don't know. Like eight bars maybe, or less. So we have long sound. We can obviously like, if it's too long, too short, we can duplicate this and blend with fades. That works, but like we have long one and it's cool. So we can basically just look for some sweet spots when the granulator is sounding really cool. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I like that. Yeah, there's a lot of cool sounds from this one sample. Okay, I'll try to increase the random. I think um, that's all for now for Quanta 
And let's take these paths. Okay, so I'm gonna just copy this, go back in time, paste. Um, so we have this pad, really cool. We have this. sound so we can uh, sort of I don't know maybe just uh, put a this drum loop here again uh, turn on the side chain maybe not Okay, so we need we need a side chain. I'm gonna just put this here. I want yes, I want the side chain, but I don't want the side chain to be playing all the time. I want something to trigger the side chain because this this is not not what I what I'm looking for. Whatever, mm, gonna switch the shape. Make sure it's the same. A little bit like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn this off. So yeah, when the when the drums stop playing, there's no side training, and this is how it should work right and then we have some break maybe sounds cool cool no doesn't sound like there's any change Okay, so there will come maybe a reese bass. Yeah, sometimes there's a problem with this granulator. Uh, the pitch is off. Oh, maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's put this. Mm. 
Sí. Okay, we can uh, con uh, consolidate this and put this here. I want to try a different part. keep this one uh, it seems sounds a little bit out of tune uh, but I hear some cool plaques I'm gonna pull up the massive X and let's see if we can kind of put these plaques here so let's find some plaques piano keys right I guess where's plus X now let's try this one. I just need to uh, put out a metal melody first. Oh, interesting. So, what's their melody? hearing this The sound here is really cool.
Okay. That's a cool sound. Where's where's OTT? This one needs to go to I guess. A little bit. works and I would need here like like high open sample like this maybe let's try and do some fading to make this m breathe breathe yeah like maybe some reverb even about if I put like a little little alter boy on this mm. and do some pitch shifting let's see uh, to just transition to like from this note to that Okay, so this has to stop here. 
Maybe we can just add a pitch. Okay, maybe later. Okay, so I wanted to have a kind of sort of break here and then just transition to like heavy drop maybe. Oh, let's see. Yeah, and like classical. <laughs> like classic virtual riot. Um, this is in G sharp. Uh, riser. That's classic. Okay. Mm. I I don't think it's the best way to make music. Um. <laughs> Let's try this kick, like like, like snare. Like I I want a huge snare. Like a. I don't know what would these samples come from even. <laughs> Let's try this one. And then some huge drop, I guess. I don't know. But this is one one twenty six. We could do what half time kind of like slow it down. Okay, let's uh, let's add serum. Okay, my screen is getting. And let's go to this preset pack and then there should be some like fresh static snow I guess yeah let's try this one and see what happened what will happen Yeah, that's the problem if you make a song like really high. Like the bass note is like C sharp. Even if it's in scale of G sharp. And like how am I supposed to use C sharp? It's too low or too high. Okay, maybe I should go for like a. Maybe I, I. I shouldn't use this. Maybe I should go for like. Okay, so like disco drums, kind of. Uh, let's see, I do have some. Yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> classic. Nah. Okay, so we need some house drums then. Hmm. Yes, I, I use, I don't speak French drums. But it sucks because uh, it has to start in, a, in C and I hate it. Like, maybe like a quick shot on C and then go back to G so people, <laughs> people won't notice. Okay, the release here, I, I don't want another release. Okay. <laughs> Sounds weird. Will F work? Kind of. That's tricky. I don't know music theory. I'm not a house dude. I make future bass. <laughs> but I'll try what what just happened. Oh okay. Um there's something interesting, right? Okay. Something is... Okay, and then... I don't know what just happened. 
But I like this. Did I move drums? Wait, what happened? Because <laughs> th there's like a little bit of like space between. This is this because I made. No, like something. What the heck? Did I? No, I didn't move drums. Oh, I moved this, right? No, there's like volume automation. <laughs> what just happened? And I like this, but I didn't do anything. What would do I what did I do? Oh I turned off this LFO tool, oh my god. That's insane, sounds cool. I'm gonna <laughs> holy shit. Like sometimes something happens accidentally and it's so cool. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this and see what this will give us. Okay, so I I want to change the baseline a little bit. like this okay um we need more more stuff let's put this okay this is going to be playing later but i'm going to just keep this for now yeah sounds cool uh, we'll play later okay so i need i need this i need bass <laughs> now i just need this let's see Oh yeah, sounds cool. Yeah, I love these drums. Like Jonas is a genius. Okay, so I have this mm, anti-low mod compressor and anti-mid compressor, mid mod, I mean. It basically compresses mid and low frequency, so they're not that annoying. God damn it, this is so annoying. Okay, I like this bass line. I'm not sure if this is in key, if it's F in C sharp. It, whatever this scale is, annoying. I'm, I'll try to just copy this. Oh, <laughs> 
Uh, what? What? Oh. Maybe I should just do some EQing and... the kick <laughs> damn it this is clean one This, if the 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 OBS is still recording, hopefully, because I'll be really mad if it won't. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, that's, that's kind of interesting. What about if I uh, go and warp this and do plus seven? Okay, five. How, how much is it? No, it sounds cool, okay. Um, I need something like this. Will this work? Uh, so these vocals will work for sure. I I just simply need more stuff. What's this? Oh, that's a bass. Uh, I just need more. Maybe this. Maybe this will work. I don't know. Okay, that's cool. Okay, 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's listen to the whole thing. I'm gonna just delete these drums from here. So let's just do like an intro here, and then some drums, and then some break, and then some drop. Maybe that's just that's just what we did. Not. Okay, so this is gonna re oh wait that's the second part okay so I like this part here and I love this bumping like accidentally with this LFO tool turned on Okay, let's listen to this once again, like the full thing. Yeah, we can do something like that for sure like maybe just uh... yeah okay so uh, I put here this build up I don't know what what it sounds like I don't I don't think this will work. <laughs> it's kind of like it's too hard. But I'll I'll track. Yeah, maybe.
Okay, cool. Um, wow. That was really fun production session. So I'll be I'll be finishing this. I mean, I'm, I'm finishing the session. Yeah, if you enjoyed this, if you want me to finish this, please let me know in the comments. I would love to do another session. I like this track. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.